Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to map a shortcut to an FTP server in Windows 7 Explorer. So, what we need to do first is go to my computer or computer, and this opens up this dialog box here. And as you can see, there's a little button here called Map Network Drive. Now, if this has disappeared for some reason, you can click on Tab and Alt, and this will open up these little tabs at the top. Click on Tools, and it should be there. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, click on map network drive and then once that box is open we're going to click on this one here connect to a website that is uh, store your, so you can store your documents and pictures click on there and basically all we need to do next and then choose uh, a custom location and then go next and this is where we actually put in our actual um, FTP address so what is an FTP address well these are FTP addresses there's loads of them on the internet that are storing all sorts of stuff, everything from music, videos, ebooks, uh, files, updates, patches, you name it. And they're quite useful. Microsoft have got them, uh, Mozilla, Firefox has got them, or I should say Mozilla. And uh, as you can see, these are Mozilla, a public or pub. Click on there, and this will take you into their add ons, as you can see, and uh, Firefox, uh, Firebird, and so on and so on. Okay? So, what you can do there, you can get uh, go into Firefox there, and as you can see, there is loads of uh, releases. If you click on there, you'll see loads of uh, releases. Every release they've made, basically, so they're going to be very handy if you want to roll back and just rather than search for it, just drag it off onto your desktop. So you just click on that there, and you can actually grab it into your desktop. Okay, so let's have a look at. Um, We've got Microsoft, as you can see there, and we've got this one that's got loads of uh, PDF files on it. Uh, as you can see, there's tons of PDF files here that is uploaded to uh, an FTP server. So we're going to use this one, I think, or I should say eBooks he's using. So let's just close some of these windows down. I'm going to put that address in there, like so, and that's the address for that. Go next. And it will do its thing. It takes a bit of time, just let it do its thing. And then once it's done that, okay, and that will say log on anonymously. Now, if you've got your own type, uh, your own FTP server, then you can take this out and then you can put the username in and the password to log on to your FTP server if you've set up one for sharing files with your friends or something like that, okay. So we're going to go log in on anonymously because it's a public one to do, and uh, I should just leave it like that. Go next, okay, and then click finish. Okay, so let me just close that off now. We don't need that, and as you can see, it's put it down here and a little file, a little folder. So that's in uh, a shortcut. So it's not actually a map drive; it's actually just a shortcut. So when I click on that now, it opens up all this stuff and all I need to do really uh, CCNA, Cisco and so on and so on and so on there's all different sort of stuff on there obviously you don't have to use these types of FTPs but you can use what you like all I need to do now is just drag that onto my desktop and that will start to download it just saves searching for stuff you can map these uh, to shortcuts to loads of different FTP sites okay and that's uh, down it comes it should start saying copying Okay. Now, obviously, if you've got some uh, are going to be faster than others. Let me just cancel that because I don't want it. But you'll get the general idea. So, if you've got your own FTP server and you've got files you want to share with people, that's the way you can do it. You can set it up, and maybe we'll do another video to show you how to do that. If you want to remove it or delete it, we need to do is right-click on here, like so, and click on delete, like so, and that will now be gone. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please show your support and hit that subscribe button. Any questions, maybe head over to the forum, join up over there, and uh, post your problems over there or something like that, or any video requests, by all means go over there, and I'll do my best to make these videos for you. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.